Alright guys, part 2 to Call of Duty then, the follow up video to my previous video. So, we're pretty much going to be talking about the downfall of Call of Duty, when did it start, why did it happen, and what's really been transpiring these last couple of years, especially within the FPS market, and like how Activision really like fell for the trap they fell for the trap you know like a thirst trap when the bitch posts like a butt pic or a titty pic you drop a like or a comment talk to the bitch and then you get catfished thirst trap thirst trap you know sometimes girls from your school might do it too they might they might trap you bro they, they're trying to they're trying to find out what kind of guy you are and they trap you you know they post some sexy ass picture and then you like it you say some thirsty ass comment like I see you ma da 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 I'm trying to holler at you. Thirst You know Call of Duty ha it, they have they have the hunger and the thirst to be the best first person shooter on the market. They have it, right? They have that hunger, they were chasing it, and Call of Duty 4 revolutionized the first person shooter. They they rev they re they revolutionized how a first person shooter should be played. Fast paced, small maps, great weapons, great graphics, you know. This game changed first person shooters. It came out in two thousand seven, right around the same time as Halo three, you know. The game was absolutely amazing. It was amazing to the point where people when World of War came out, right? You sort of had this division within the community where, you know, people still played COD 4 because they didn't really like the World War 2 scene anymore. And that was a moment defining, that was moment defining in first person shooters in gaming where people didn't like the whole World War thing anymore. They like modern combat, we like war, Afghanistan, they're... People from the Middle East are the enemy. Yeah, you know, they, they love that stuff. We, we started to see the 357 combo in Call of Duty 4 and in World That War. You know, your UAV, your airstrike, and your attack helicopter. And then you move to Modern Warfare 2. They change it. The streaks are much more funner. You have a whole bunch of new stuff. The tactical nuke, predator missile, um, AC-130. All these streaks that make the game fun. You see pro perks, a new thing to go for. You know, hey, I can I can make my stopping power better. I can get side of hand pro. You know, pro pick pro perks gave the game something else. Then you start to see stuff like titles and emblems and all this stuff. You know, little gimmicks that get you to play the game and get you motivated to play it. Now it's starting to get all downplayed, and that stuff really doesn't matter anymore. You know, going for camos. You remember back in the day in Modern Warfare 2, when you used to go for Red Tiger and Fall Camo? And you remember inside Modern Warfare 3, when you used to go for your gold guns? You know, when you reach level 30 in your gun, and it took like forever to get it gold because you needed so much experience. But it was fun. You know, the game was fun back then. Black Ops 1 was fun. You know, even though Black Ops 1 didn't have the best kill streaks. The Blackbird Chopper Gunner Dogs combo was lethal. It was lethal. The maps were great in that game. The guns were great. You know, people used to grind to get to 14th and 15th prestige just to get gold guns. They didn't care about everything else. The game modes in that game were fun. The maps were fun. That's the thing that stayed consistent from Call of Duty 4 all the way up. To Modern Warfare 3. No, all the way to Black Ops 2. Where the maps? The maps were so fun to play. And then you, you get into Ghost. I, I, don't get me wrong. I love playing Ghost. I had a lot of friends to play Ghost with. Ghost, in my opinion, gets a very bad rap. You know, and I'm going to say, I think Ghost is a good game. But Ghost had shit maps. Like, let's just be honest. The maps are shit. The streaks were not great at all. The kill streaks were not great at all. You know, the IMS. Sentry gun, attack chopper, okay. It, it, it's decent, but like, it, it's not fun to use. Like, yeah, I get a shitload of kills with these kill streaks, but they're not fun to use. 
you know, the helo pilot isn't great to use at all. Like, the helo pilot is, is a sorry excuse of a fucking chopper gun. Like, let's just be honest. And then you go into advanced warfare. You know, a whole bunch of different movement system. The maps are too vertical. You know, nobody fucking likes the game. You know, you need you need a fucking scarf, a battle beaver, a cinch control to play the game. You know, the game is too intricate. That's what a lot of people would say. The game is very too intricate. It's not simple. It's it's just too much going on at once. You have to jump, aim, and shoot at somebody. It's just it's too complicated. Like you have to keep the game simple. That's what made Call of Duty great. The game is simple. Anybody can play it. This isn't this isn't Halo. This isn't Gears of War where the game is just difficult. Halo is not the most difficult game. Halo's gotten more simpler during the years. But this isn't Gears of War where the game is fucking hard. This isn't this isn't Rainbow Six. This isn't Ghost Recon. This is Call of Duty. The game is simple. Now they try to make the game more complicated for people to play. And it's getting all intricate with the controls and stuff. Like nobody likes it. So you have that dynamic going on. The maps are getting worse. Except for um Black Ops 3 has better maps now. But like for the past two years the maps have been shit. Fucking the streaks are ass. You're like you need Like if you wanna make these games intricate and you wanna make them more complicated and make make it have a learning curve because you know that's that's one thing that really like kill video games is when you when you have a, a high learning curve. And like nobody likes to play a hard game that takes them a while to have skill at. You know, I think the only game that can pull that off is Street Fighter. Like, Street Fighter takes fucking skill. I don't know about Street Fighter V, but I knew Street F Every other Street Fighter that I fucking played took skill, and that shit was hard to play. And if somebody was better than you, you're getting your fucking ass kicked. You know, that's what Call of Duty is now. Like, if you don't, if you don't have a Battle Beaver controller... Astro 840s and 850s, you're getting your ass fucking kicked. Thank God I have a Battle Beaver controller. Thank fucking God, because, you know, there's, there's nothing that gives me more joy playing Call of Duty now than to have these motherfucking kids look clueless. They look clueless when they try... I, I'm over here jump shotting these kids in Black Ops 3 and Advanced Warfare. They look here straight, and I'm up in the air, and they're just clueless. Like... There's nothing that gives you more satisfaction than doing that. And I'm sure it's the same way for Street Fighter players when they have their little arcade sticks and fucking fight pads. You know, it's the same it's the same shit. And you know, the biggest trap that they fell for was a Titanfall trap. You know, they they seen Titanfall and say, God damn, they have they have war running, they have exo movements. We should put that in our game as well. You know, they, they fell for that. And the problem is that Respawn worked on that for years. Call of Duty didn't work to perfect that movement system. Black Ops 3, Treyarch, they had more time to do it. But Sledgehammer didn't have time to perfect that movement. And now we have this whole thing. This whole rumors about Call of Duty Space Warfare. Like, and it is, it's, a, it's from an insider that's been in the community for a while and confirmed a whole bunch of rumors about Call of Duty in the past. Like, I'm, I'm fucking scared about that. Like, Call of Duty in space? Like, is this Star Wars, bro? Is this Star Trek? Like, are we gonna be... Are we gonna be flowing in the air, shooting each other now? Like, I'm just scared about that, guys. So, like, leave a, leave a comment on what you guys think. Leave a like, you know, all that good shit. And I'll see you guys in the next video. 71 and 10. I'm a beast. Peace.